So given that it's winter time, I eventually finally decided to change my centerpiece on my coffee table uh, and make it a little bit more winter appropriate. I've got the wheat grass there, which is really, really cute. Is it wheat grass or just grass? I don't know what they call it, but that, which is really cute. And then I've got uh, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying by Marie Kondo. It's always great to have a book. Always great to have a book on a centerpiece of a table. Got a candle, uh, which I felt like the color of the candle is really, really appropriate for winter slash autumn. Autumn slash winter. And then I have this ornament here, which you guys have probably seen multiple times on my channel. And a diffuser going. So... A reed diffuser so it looks like this I don't know how I feel about it generally right now but I feel like it's okay I feel like it's okay um, I need to just sit down have a chat with you guys bring you up to speed uh, I just need to sit down have a chat with you guys bring you up to speed with what's been going on I've got my glasses on because my eyes are a bit sore today goodness knows why but I'll take them off shortly um, yeah, just bring you up to speed, have a little chat, okay? Hi, everybody. It's Monday today. Let me sit down. Where am I going to sit? Hey, everybody. Um, So I just decided to pick a slightly different angle of where I would typically sit. Hi, everybody. It is the beginning of a new vlog. So, so it's the beginning of a new vlog, and uh, I really don't know what I'm going to vlog. I feel like I'm fast running out of ideas of what to film when I'm vlogging or what to show you or anything like that. I am quickly running out of ideas um, because I really just live a very basic and simple life and I feel like it's great to also showcase that side of life especially online i know that a lot of people get a lot of footage of you know people going out and being out and about and whatever when in reality a lot of us spend a lot of time at home you know we chill we relax at home um and that's a lot of what i do and i noticed as well wow i'm crossing my legs when was the last time you actually crossed your legs primary school when you sat down on the floor i don't know i don't cross my legs that often so it's actually quite a foreign feeling to me. Anyway, digressing. So a lot of the time, like I'll get suggestions or I'll have people saying to me that, oh, could you please do a cleaning vlog so we could see, you know, when you clean your house. And I'm just like, my house is always clean. I hardly ever clean because one, I've got Tandy. Tandy does all of that for me and I can't take away Tandy's bread and butter. I pay her to clean my house and... Not only that, um, I'm just naturally clean. So a lot of the time, my house is spotless. There's nothing that I could show you unless I'm literally like decluttering a space or I am doing something or I'm doing like something really different that I could show you that involves some type of cleaning. But a lot of the time, I'm not doing many cleaning vlogs because... That's why Tandy's here. She's always cleaning. And when I clean with her, a lot of the time, if I'm helping her, if we're moving the couch or whatever, I'm not really vlogging when that happens, you know? I don't think of it, but I'll make a mental note for next time. So I can't do things like cleaning vlogs and all of that. And I see the suggestions and I'm just like, but what? Like, what do I clean? Because my house is spotless half the time, 90% uh, of the time. And when I'm cleaning, I'm literally just tidying up or moving things around and that kind of stuff so you know i would love for one day the world to get to a place where just general you know at home chilling at home unwinding being yourself or being the person that spends time at home footage or content like that gets as much views as people going out and about and doing this and that or buying luxury stuff or all that kind of stuff you know what i'm saying sometimes the reality is this this is the reality you hardly ever out my family is out right now having lunch and uh they invited me along and just because i'm just not in the best mental space and my in, my family knows this 
Um, I don't also want to be that kid that's going to come around my family and be snacks or sour and just be sour grapes, you know, the whole time I'm there. So I opted not to, to uh, be with them today, which is also okay. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, just to give you a little bit of an update, this is why I'm sitting here because one, I haven't given you a book update in a while because I am in a little bit of a reading slump. Today, I've been reading this book for the past two weeks, okay? I've been reading one book for the past two weeks, but I've made a significant dent in it now to actually speak about it, but also I've picked up, I want to finish this one because the next ones that I picked up that I want to read are exciting and complete. Book talk, bookstagram, listen, uh, booktube inspired purchases, but I really also found them interesting and in the storylines regard like surrounding these books interesting as well um and i also have a problem with my book section where i put my books i'm fast running out of space i don't know what i am going to do uh there is this it's sort of like a it's like a stand that they sell at at home which is part of the range of furniture that I have in my house. So my my tabletop, my coffee table and my TV stand are from the loft range, which is sold at, at home stores. And now they've got the stand that looks like sort of like a cabinet kind of thing, but it's really cute and it's from the same um, range, the loft range, that I'm thinking of picking up and purchasing it and putting it over there and letting that be a space for my books and maybe one or two plants. But I've been thinking about it. I don't know quite yet what I want to do. So um, there are just, you know, uh, just really not that many changes happening. Uh, recently, I've watched, I've been to the movies quite a lot recently. Not quite a lot, twice in the last week. And I went to, the first time I took Kanya out, I think I have a little bit of footage of that. On my phone that I'll insert here, I took Hanya out to go watch Red, Turning Red. I keep calling it uh, Red Panda. <laughs> and I don't know why. But we went out to go watch Turning Red um, because the previous movie we watched with her Encanto, which was amazing. Uh, my partner and I took her out to watch it. And the three of us watched it and... He seems to have promised Hanya to come watch Turning Red. And because he couldn't join us that day, I took Hanya to go watch Turning Red. And it was really great. I personally love animation movies. Um, and Hanya loves them too. And he loves them too. So it's a thing. Now we've decided that every now and again, we'll, all three of us will go out and watch some kind of animation movie. The next one seems to be... Bad Guys or uh, Sing 2, I think Hanya mentioned. I don't know. She mentioned quite a few things. Then I went out with him, just the two of us, to go watch Morbius. Now, obviously, Hanya can't watch Morbius, clearly. Uh, but we are Marvel people, and we're Marvel fans, and we really enjoy any Marvel movies. So we went to go watch Morbius, and now we're waiting for Doctor Strange. So excited. Uh, Morbius, I thought, was fantastic. Maybe it's also because I have a personal attachment to Jared Leto. <laughs> hey, Ooh, Jared Leto's my white Jesus. He is so beautiful. <laughs> okay, he is so cute. His eyes, oh my gosh. So I really actually just enjoyed Morbius. I feel like uh, out of quite a few of the side Marvel movies, aside from the big ones like Avengers and all of that, Morbius was right up there for me. Uh, I really enjoyed it. When it comes to reading, I have been in a little bit of a reading slump and it's just been the worst time for me because I really enjoy reading. Right now, I'm actually watching a booktube video right now. There's a, there's a booktuber that I watch and I love her. Her name is Hannah and her channel is... I keep forgetting. I'll write it somewhere here. And I feel like her uh, description of books and her synopsis of books and telling the story about a book is really, really good. So I always watch her videos. Anyway, so 
I've been going through the worst reading slump. It's the worst one. And I'm going to try and finish this book today because I really want to start this week off. It is Monday today and we haven't gone to work today because it's the Easter weekend. So it's like a whole entire long weekend. Uh, we're only going back to work tomorrow. So I really want to, it's two o'clock now, take maybe about another two hours to read this. Um, and this is the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. If there's one thing I can say about this book is it's hilarious. It follows a bunch of old geriatric friends uh, who live in a, like an old age home, an assisted living kind of, but like very high class, very, very fancy uh, because all the people that live there were uh, doctors and um you know, engineers and psychiatrists and whatever. So they probably must have put a whole lot of money away to live in a place like that, which has a pool and a gym area and this and this. And it's on the rolling hills of wherever it is and all of that. So it follows Elizabeth, Ron, uh, Joyce and Ibrahim when they go and decide to investigate a murder that has happened on their, like, surround in and around surrounding uh cooper's chase which is where they live so it's really really hilarious it's funny it's interesting um they just yeah so a murder happens typically they always meet every single thursday and they investigate previous pro crimes that have been unsolved right but now this murder has happened right right where they are and it's so exciting to try and see them try to figure it out and um yeah so one of the main characters her name is elizabeth and you don't really quite get a gist of what elizabeth did before she you know retired and all of that but it seems something along the lines of a spy because she's got so many contacts and 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 when she recounts the memories that um you know that that come up in her younger years <laughs> you can tell that she's been to all these different countries and this and this and she can't share certain information and she's got so many contacts that know about this and that and the other you can tell that her previous job before had to do with with being a spy and uh she's got these three other friends that she has a thursday murder club um uh, weekly sessions with and once a crime happens on their front doorstep basically uh, they want you know first dibs at investigating it along with the police and it's hilarious so far really really good it's got about 380 pages and I've just clocked 237 pages on it and uh, I really want to try and finish it today really want to try and finish it today why i want to try and finish it today this is why i want to try and finish it today this is take a hint danny brown and at your age eve brown now these books are book talk bookstagram <sighs> listen booktube inspired okay honestly I do not mind reading romance novels, okay? And now this follows the Brown sisters, so it's a three-part uh, book series. The first one is At Your Age, Chloe Brown, I think. At Your Age, Eve Brown. The first one is Something Something, Chloe Brown. So it follows all the Brown sisters. Um, the second one is this one, Take a Hint, Danny Brown. And the third one is At Your Age, Eve Brown. So the first one is Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I think so I saw the first one and I wanted to pick up all three <clears throat> but the first one I picked them up in exclusive books the first one was um, it was uh, the copy that they had they only had one copy of uh, get a life Chloe Brown and it was really in bad condition like the corners and the bottom one. and I was just like you know what it's fine because a lot of the time mostly on these book platforms they rant about these two so i thought you know what it's fine i can skip the first one i'll take the two um the second and the third so it follows the it's a romance these are romance novels wow the sun the sun in and out of the clouds <laughs> these are rom romance novels and uh like i said follows the 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 brown sisters this one in particular follows danny brown and how she 
basically she's she wants professional success uh academic renowned and an occasional role in the hay to relieve her career driven tension but romance been there done that burnt the t-shirt so danny asked the universe for the perfect friend with benefits and that's when she meets a gent by zafir ansari who rescues her from a workplace fire drill gone wrong and of course then the love story and the romance pans out from there so really really excited this is the one that i want to read next i thought that after the thursday murder club i'd want to read beach read next but i believe beach read is not really romance per se but i really do want to read something light and fluffy and possibly also funny i do hear that it's the, the the books are also quite entertaining so i think i'll jump onto this one next but that's pretty much it uh i don't really have that much to share truthfully i don't i'm probably going to cook a little bit later on uh nothing that i haven't cooked before i'm probably going to just make some lemon chicken put it in the oven and uh some bulgur wheat <laughs> bulgur wheat as sims right says uh i'll make wow thank god i'm not recording today you know the sit down videos uh i'll probably make some bulgur wheat as sims right calls it and some chicken and call it a day lovely surprise to show you <laughs> you remember that tray that i bought last week in the last vlog yeah i really had a suspicion that this would happen because it did seem rather light and you know when ice has frozen when the water has frozen and it's ice you kind of have to do a little bit of a shuffle with it like this kind of loosen up the ice cube so that you can take them out i tried to do that and this is what happened it's a bit amazing it might just turn out to be this way plus 
you just need it to be a lot stronger than this one actually is so this one has not made the cut gents and i do not i'm not gonna keep it it is so i ain't even finna lie to you i'm just gonna keep the eyes for now because i am having my drink um the boogler wheat is great but there's still a little bit of water left in it so i have put it on a plate and the stove is on one very very low heat just so that it can soak up all that water should be done the chicken is going pretty well lemon chicken with a little bit of rosemary seasoning rosemary and olive seasoning which is rosemary goes very well with chicken if you didn't know it goes really really well and it's the one herb that i always forget to buy when i'm at the store like the herb itself because it would be actually really great to actually have the herb in there as well but it doesn't necessarily matter the spice will do what it needs to do and then um i've got the vegetables on the side here i just wanted to steam them up a little bit literally i do not put the um stove on I, I i keep it on a medium heat and i literally steam them with a little bit of water for about two three to four minutes uh because i still like them very firm and you know i hate it when broccoli is like soft it's nasty that's, I think that's actually one of the reasons why, as children, we didn't really like broccoli. Because our parents never did it. They never kept it firm and nice and just steamed up nice, hard, firm. And they didn't drizzle on top cheese sauce. Because if they did, we would like broccoli. As kids, we would like broccoli. It's for real, let's, let's tell the truth. But anyway, I like it firm. Poured myself a drink. I am about 60 pages away from finishing the book, which means I'm going to finish the book and possibly start uh, Take a Hint Danny Brown later tonight when I'm in bed. I feel good. I feel good. I feel like um, something is coming back in terms of my reading. I really like it. I can't, I'm at the stage of the book where I can't really put it down now. Like I really want to know who killed Ian. Watch that. Talk to you guys a little bit later when I dish up. And when I tell you that I'm finished reading The Thursday Murder Club. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm back from work and uh, my neighbor's dog is going crazy as normal, as per usual. So you will hear the dog. You will hear the dog. There's nothing I can do about the dog. But uh, yeah, today is Wednesday. Tandy is here today and she's upstairs busy doing her stuff. And she also washed my couch because Tandy is that kind of girl. You understand? She does the things that are meant to be done. For the pots to be done so basically my couch is clean it's just that i can't uh, sit on it for the rest of the day um so I'll, I'll sit somewhere else in the house can you hear the dog went into the shops to pick up a couple of things gonna show you what's new everything you're gonna see here is things you've seen before the only difference is we are in orange season so i've got myself a couple of oranges I need to make myself a green smoothie right now. I'm going to do that now. But yeah, I popped into Woolies, got back from work, had to also pop into the pharmacy to pick up the Zepil. Zepil. If you know, you know, you know. Um, so I'm gonna get all that stuff out, make myself a green smoothie because it's what I have all the time. Can't sit on my couch, so I'm basically going to sit on the other couch and potentially read. Um, in the next two hours, the power will be gone again. It was gone this morning on my way to work. Tragic. Just tragic. Wait till the electricity situation in Sava is boring. It's borex. It's borex. You know, I always say that to my partner. Borex. Some borra borex. 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 Uh, anyway, so 
gonna get all the stuff out make myself a green smoothie probably just unwind for the rest of the day I just released a video uh, just released a video on YouTube I released one yesterday and I am uh, releasing one again today I released one today as well and it seems to be going down pretty well it's an unpopular opinions video definitely check it out and the one before that was me answering all the heartbreak questions um it's just great i'm also going to be recording again later this week um i actually need to go to my unit uh, a property where the tenant has vacated and now i need to go and just have a look there before i get the re rental agent to come in next week so i'm gonna do that maybe i might show you a little bit of that in this video or if not it'll be the beginning of the next one so at least the unit is empty and i can show it to you and we can have a chat around there but i just need to go have a look see around what needs to be done what needs to be changed the house probably needs to be painted <sighs> lots of work lots of work uh home owning things you know what i'm saying anyway so uh so let me show you what i got basic things what's new got a million of these and another one and another one avocados because avocados are life and we all know that also picked up some forel pears i actually enjoy these from time to time um because these ones the skin is not so bad sometimes i just can't stand the outer skin of pears just leaves a really funky taste on your teeth but really really looking forward to these ones i haven't had pears in a minute in a minute i really haven't had pears in a while uh, vegetables because what is a life without vegetables it's not a life bananas also because I haven't bought bananas in a long 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 time I haven't had bananas in a while so bananas are great and grapes because I haven't bought grapes in a while as well so that's packet number one done juice juice gimme 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 Give me gag gag juice. This is a diffuser. This is a Woolies diffuser that Tandy made sure that I pick up today because I think she likes it. This is the one that I put in my bedroom. Uh, Peony and Pear. It's a reed diffuser. They're slightly cheaper. This one is about 60 bucks or something, but if a la sauce for call, like in a week or two weeks, is finished. So Tandy said I must buy it because she likes it. So I bought it for her. I think she likes the way my bedroom smells when the diffuser is doing its thing. I don't know. I don't know. And lastly, yogurt. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I got, Jen. Say, um, yo, I'm on TikTok now. I was telling Tandy that I'm TikTok famous, but Tandy has more subscribe, more followers on TikTok than I do. But that, that's neither here nor there. I just feel like I'm famous. Uh, and I wanted to share with you guys that I am on TikTok, so definitely check it out. You know, my TikTok page is also just Katleo, and uh, I talk a lot about being an introvert on there, and I do little skits here and there, I guess, and then I put up the stuff that I typically would put up on Instagram in terms of reels and all of that, and it's great. It's great. TikTok is giving me very sleepless nights. I am finally on the bandwagon of tiktok and i realized that yo it's very entertaining you can literally be on tiktok for hours and hours just scrolling and scrolling um so that's that i am currently reading take a hint danny brown i'm about 100 pages into take a hint danny brown and because the power is gonna go i'm gonna read some more so i'm gonna push that book pretty quickly she's washed it which is great. Those little patches that you see, it's because it's wet. So don't, 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 don't think that she didn't do a good job. Those little patches there, it's because it's wet. And, uh, yeah, so it's a little bit of a tip. You know, it's a little bit of a tip, but it is what it is. The rest of the house is really clean as usual. That's how Tandy rolls. And uh, everything else is here, and it's going to be like this for the next uh, day or so. So 
Great, looks fantastic. Love it for us. Need to put these books away. Uh, that's Transcendent Kingdom. We were liars, which I hated. Uh, <clears throat> Thursday Murder Club and Eve Brown. Need to actually tidy up that whole space over there. It's a bit better. Hey, so I have officially changed. I'm going to read for a little bit while Tandy is busy. And uh, I'm going to sit here because I can't sit on the other couch. And in the next hour or so... I'm going to be out of power. Thanks, Ishkom. Um, let me tell you, Danica Brown can have all my coins, okay? This is a really, really good book. Just a book update. Uh, like I said, I'm about 100 pages into this here wonderful, uh, ridiculously entertaining novel. Uh, so this is the second book in the Brown series by Talia Hibbert and i explained about the first one so this basically follows danica brown who is a junior sort of lecturer or a junior um, i don't know what they call lectures professor or something at uh, a university and she lectures all about and all around english literature which is great and uh, she's one of the brown sisters she's the middle sister and uh, eve is the last one and <laughs> she's hilarious so she's a bisexual woman who's just gotten out of a, a relationship well she's not really the relationship kind she's typically you know she just wants to have somebody she can hang around with and do the zanga zang with and the person who she was doing the zanga zang with joe joe eventually caught feelings i am assuming and because of that her and danny split up okay danny cool so now danny is in a process of trying to find somebody who can sort of uh, clear out her cobwebs if you understand what i'm saying and uh, in walks zafir okay zafir ansari is one of the i don't know if, if we could call him a janitor or he works at the building where danica works and um he also works there and all of that. And they see each other on a daily basis. And they both kind of have a crush on each other because you can see both their point of views as you're reading. And, uh, you know, Danny finds him incredibly attractive. Not enough to have a relationship with, but just, you know, somebody she could uh, clean out the cobwebs with. You know what I'm saying? So she finds him rather attractive. And he likes her, but he's not quite sure. At first he thinks that she's gay. And then at some point it... You know, so the story pretty much takes off when there is sort of like a, a drill gone wrong kind of situation. And this drill has Danica stuck in an elevator and uh, Zafir comes and finds her. Zafir Ansari comes and finds her and <clears throat> walks out of the building carrying her and the cameras come out people are video recording this whole thing and they kind of become an overnight sensation and they choose to date so it's like a fake dating trope so they choose to date for the sake of um you know putting publicity on to zafir's npo ngo um which involves you know just um teaching rugby but also at the same time um mental health you know for young boys and all of that really really interesting stuff so i love the representation i love the you know sexuality representation i love the color representations of fear is i don't know if he's muslim or hindu but uh, Danny's black, you know, there's just a whole lot of representation and this talk about mental health as well. And Zafir is a man who loves to read romance. Don't we love that? Yes, as somebody who's reading a romance novel right now. I don't read much of it, but I do enjoy it from time to time, especially when it's really, really good. Wow. Wow. Really steamy. Really steamy. Forgot to say that. Steamy, smutty, but in a very smart way as well. Really, really good. Hi. Uh, skew. Uh, it's nighttime now, and uh, 
I've about fixed myself a drink and I'm heading upstairs to retire for the night. Um, it's been good, okay? It's been good. I think I'm probably going to end this vlog here because really, you know, some weeks are just those kinds of weeks. You know, you're working, you're pushing content, you're dealing with load shedding, you're dealing with people. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's just, it's just one of those. So I'm going to bid you a good night and, uh, we're going to go to bed. I want to start this whole thing. You know, I, I can see you guys really, really enjoy the music, uh, not the music, the, the singing. So I want to start this whole thing where I try and end off each vlog with a song. And then I want you guys to tell me what song I'm singing. So... I'm going to try and make it hard. Okay, I'm going to try and make it hard, but we'll start off easy, right? We'll start off easy. Let's see. Let's uh, try this one. Let's see if you remember this one. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And it's about you. I'm talking about you. Um, you are everything I ask for in my prayers. So I know my angels brought you to my life. I'm talking about you. Your energy is healing to my soul. You are a beautiful surprise. Intoxicated every time I hear your voice. Or maybe your comments. You've got me on a natural high. It's almost like I didn't even have a choice. You are a beautiful surprise. I'll see you in the next video. Ah.